Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to episode number 4 of The Road to Glory. I'm loving this series, I'm enjoying it so so much, so I hope you guys are too. I'm trying to bring it consistently every day, there is so much going on. I'm playing a lot of FIFA, making so many changes, making a load of coins. So, if you do enjoy today's video, please do smash a like down below and subscribe for much more FIFA 20 content, reviews, squad builders, all sorts of stuff planned on the way. But for now, it's all about the road to glory. So let's see what we did about the dilemma that we were facing in last episode. So here we go then, now onto the account, and there has been massive changes, huge changes. The team from the last episode has been dismantled. There was a lot of players in there that didn't really offer too much for me. I felt like I was just looking for players that really weren't going to depreciate in value, and were just ones that I think were safe bets. I knew were good, but I didn't really think, oh, they were meta players. They were really the guys that were going to get me the wins. And what we've done is we've looked for exactly those types of players. As you know, on the channel, if you watch it regularly, I review a lot of players and I found the perfect players that suit my style. And I will show you the team in a second. I just want to show you the transfer list. I accidentally got rid of everything that we'd sold from the old team, but we sold it for very similar prices to what we bought it for. I think we did probably break even, if not make a bit of profit, but these are all cards from the um, SBCs that we've done. Now I'll show you in a few minutes the SBCs that we did complete. We did just finish off the advanced SBC, so I'll put the solutions in there as well. Very easy to do, just use footbin solutions, make sure you bid on players, that's very important. Bidding is always king, because you are going to get a lot of players that people might be price fixing, for a lot cheaper than you would expect. So you can see here, these are just some of the players that we did get back. What I'm going to do now actually, is show you my live reaction to opening the packs. So you go and see that and I'll be right back. Give me a board at least, at least a board, because there are a lot of good 80. That is a board, let's go. Give me something sick. French, goalkeeper. Spurs! <laughs> <laughs> Loris, we got Hugo Loris. What a pack pull. Another walkout from these SBCs, the advanced ones. Didn't pay out for us last year, but they've paid out this year so, so well. When it matters the most for a road to glory. Let's skip. Do we get anything else in the pack? Come on. We've already made our coins back. I mean, no, we get nothing else in the pack. We get Ashley Young. Boards? That's two flicks, is it, or no flick? Aurier! <laughs> Aurier! Come on, the pack look. Two Spurs players. What a card as well. I think he'll only increase in price. Might have to put him in the, in the team. Please be something else in here. Mega pack. Rare mega pack. Torreira. Rudiger. Not the best, but... Aurea, how much do you go for? I think he'll be north of 50k. Yeah, I'm keeping him. He'll, he'll easily be 50k. That's a really, really nice card as well. So there we go then. You see we packed Loris and Aurea. And they were really, really good pulls. Obviously we made our money back and more from them SBCs. And I was so, so happy with them. As for the squad, I put it together yesterday after the video had ended. And I just wanted to change it. I knew there was a few players I had in mind that I wanted to go after. And we had about 500,000 coins on the account. Hell of a lot of coins and I had some decisions to make. So what I'm going to do is talk you through player by player on who we actually chose. So my thoughts behind this team were, I need meta, I need pace, I need really good players. And I need players maybe that will appreciate in value, won't go down, but some of them probably will. I just really, really love them in the game. But starting off in goal, Thibaut Courtois, he is excellent. I really, really do like this card. He's so tall, he makes really, really good saves when you wouldn't expect him to. He saved my ass a lot of times. That's what we need because I'm conceding way too many goals. And he's just really important for the links in the team. So he is in goal. At right back, we've gone for Wan-Bissaka. First dawn, got him from an SBC, I think. And he is really, really nice. Appreciate the card a hell of a lot. His medium high work rate, his defensive um, attributes are really good. The pace is really a key part of this card. And I was wondering whether to swap him out for Aurier, but you will see with the team, we have gone for certain chemistry links, so he's really, really good card. Next to him, we have Joe Gomez. You can see I'm playing a lot of games with these cards. Joe Gomez, 3-star, three 3-star, three medium, medium, 
81 pace. We only paid 6,400 coins for him. I think he's a lot more, but I couldn't recommend him highly enough. He is really, really good. Probably one of the cards we will look to bring in a replacement for, but for now, he is really nice. Next to him, we've gone for Adair Militao. 79 pace, 81 defending, 81 physical, medium high. So important, and this guy's an absolute rock in defense. 21,000 coins, you can see the players are going to be expensive. Speaking of expensive, we've gone for Ferland Mendy. So meta, so desirable. 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, 30,000 coins. Look at these stats though. 88 stamina, 90 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. He is amazing. I used his team in the season last year and he is so good. I really do love this card. So well balanced. The 5 star weak foot is so unique. Really, really like this card. That is the one thing I wanted. I wanted cards that I really knew were excellent and that I enjoyed. In the midfield, a card that I do enjoy, but I've just seen a replacement that we will be bringing in tonight, probably, in form James Madison. He can't be much, can he, really? I'll look forward to bringing him in, probably bringing a play review out on him very, very shortly. But in 14 games, 6 goals, 2 assists, I think he's going to be one of the more well-used cards uh, in FIFA 20. I really do like this Lingard card. 6,000 coins we paid, and you can see we get a very nice return from him. On to the next midfielder, and we've just published the review for this guy. I gave him a 9.2 rating. He is phenomenal. Interceptions are a joke. He is literally the king of interceptions. If you lose the ball, Fabinho will get it back for you. I cannot wait to pair this guy with N'Golo Kante, but for the meanwhile, we've got this man. Musa Sissoko. He is nearly as good as Fabinho, high high work rate, he intercepts the ball so much, I keep losing the ball, so why not have these two guys intercept the ball for me, get it back really quickly, 30,000 coins is a lot to be playing for an 81 rated, but he is so so good, I cannot explain, he is really really good. The most expensive player in the team is up next, and it is Sterling, one game, one goal, he is a very new player for us, use him in the draft, I wanted to try him out, high medium, He's got that unique sort of feel in the game. 96 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. Amazing stats. I really, really do like this card. His finishing is really good as well. On that right foot, it is so strong. Attack positioning, 91 goes to 99. Finishing goes to 98 with this uh, dead eye chemistry style. Sterling is going to be a key player for us when Foot Champions does come out. We paid 150, 148k for him. I think his price will only rise, being 88 rated. Right wing in the Premier League, you've got Salah, but he is double the price. I think this is a very good addition to the squad. Next to him, we've gone back, we've gone back to what we know best, Marcus Rashford. He was in the Road to Glory squad very temporarily for a player review, but 14 games, 14 goals, 7 assists. He is, he is phenomenal, I cannot lie, he is really, really good. Next to him, we have Anthony Martial. Brought him in instead of Leroy Sane. Leroy Sane was about 190,000 coins. Couldn't justify playing that, and we have gone for Anthony Martial. Five games, three goals, three assists. Looks to be a great start for him. I feel like he's a really good striker in the game, and that's where we do play him. I'll talk a bit more about the formation in a bit, but that is the team as of now. We've gone for the meta. We've bought the meta. If this isn't a weekend league-ready squad, I don't know what is. I think it is phenomenal. If you have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments, because I'm always open to suggestions. I know it's not the perfect team, but I know it's a very, very strong team. So... What we're going to be doing in today's episode is actually playing a game with this team in Division Rivals. We are doing really well in Division Rivals at the moment, playing a lot of games, trying to get used to the game. We are rank 1. What I don't want to happen is that we are going to be relegated. I'm in Division 4. You can see here, Divisions, we are on 1,250 skill rating. I think we're comfortably in um, rank 1, but we're going to be playing a game, seeing how we do get on, seeing what the meta team is like. It is doing me so, so well conceding a lot less goals and yeah let's just get into it so here we go then into division four and this guy's got a very nice team this is what i mean it's the meta premier league is always meta premier league players always seem to be so good i don't know what it is whether it's mental i don't know premier league players are just always so good and i think we do have a better team we probably have a better team than most people at this stage but it's not all about the team, is it? I hope we can do well. Let's see how we get on. No, 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 no. Courtois, please. Oh, my God. He's blazed it wide. Oh, we were let off there. Poor from me. I was sitting, I was preaching about patience. And we just <laughs> went for the offensive pass straight away. Come on, Lingard. Show me what you've got. 
Ah, I went for the wrong pass. Rashford. A bit sporadic with his... Come on, Rashford. Do something. Rashford. Rashford across. There's no one there. Martial, where were you? Nice. And again, finish. Let's go. Who's that? Anthony Martial. Our number 10. That lovely, lovely kit. And that is a great finish. Great start for Martial. I was just looking for more of a striker card. Leroy Sane was very, very good. But 180,000 coins... I it's, it's insane. That is a crazy price tag for him. When you compare him to the likes of Martial, who's always overpowered, that's why he's in the team. This is a meta squad. And I'm all for trying other leagues. Don't worry, we'll be definitely trying other leagues. But as for now, I just want wins. I need to learn the game. And when you have players like Fabinho, although he does give the ball away there, can he win it back though? Timu Pukki, get it away, Gomez. Yes. Yeah, we just need to get used to the game whilst winning. Bit of hold up there into Sterling, spreading it wide. We're switching up the play at the moment. Go on, Sterling. Go on, Sterling. Unlucky. On his left foot, not as strong. There we go, Fabinho. That's why he's in the team. That's why he was used so much last year in FIFA 19. Absolutely. Joke of a card. Come on, Sizoko. <sighs> Wanted to play that pass. Come. Yes, Gomez. If Militao doesn't get him, Joe Gomez will. That is a great double save from Courtois. I think he was offside. Yeah, he was. But Courtois with a great double save. That's what I mean. He's so overpowered. Doesn't let me down. If there's one thing we need to build on, it is keeping clean sheets. Oh my god, Pookie. Courtois, get it away. What a save from Courtois. I'm talking about keeping clean sheets. These guys are helping me at the moment. Courtois is saving me so much. 38,000 coins, I think he is. A top tier goalkeeper, I couldn't recommend more. I think that's one thing you need to purchase, a top tier goalkeeper, because they are so, so important. It seems like they actually are... Well, maybe it is just all goalkeepers are, in, are insane. Joe Hart, for me, was absolutely ridiculous. So you would expect if Joe Hart's ridiculous, Thibaut Courtois, Hugo Lloris, those types of players, well done, would be good too. One thing we've got for the team is actually come back on defence for the strikers. It is quite unique, quite sweaty, but I think it is needed with the playing style that I do have. I'm always left wide open, so why not abuse the defensive formations and try and keep things tight whilst also getting in behind? Nope. So we hold out before half-time. One thing with this team, we are giving away quite a lot of opportunities in the first half, not creating too many, but we are very, very clinical. Martial doing the business. You can see the way we set up there. You might say it's sweaty, might say it's not, but I think it's clever just switching to a formation that puts you in a good spot for really, really good defending. That's what I need to focus on at the moment. I don't care about scoring. I just want to learn the dif different uh, defending mechanics. Go on, Rashford. I don't know why he's number one. Can he score this? Ah, good strike. Yeah, I don't know why he's got number one. Um, Pretty random, but he's doing well for us with that number one shirt. He might have to keep it. Go on, Gomez. Fabinho, get that. Sterling. Oh. Well done. Oh my god. Joe Gomez with the lunge. Save me again. We are really probably holding on a bit much more than I would like to be. Dan Miller Tau against Pookie. Pookie is pretty amazing for everyone I come up against. Um, maybe we'll have to look at bringing Pookie in. Instead of Rashford, we could play Rashford as the second. Go on, Martial. Left footed finish. Sterling. Yes, yeah, Sterling gets a goal in his second game. An acrobatic finish, but yeah, maybe we should get Pookie in the team. He's only about 30,000 coins. He's so dangerous for everyone I come up against, but that is nice from Sterling. Really, really uh, acrobatic finish. Looks like we will win this game. 62 minutes, though. I've messed it up from these positions before. It's one of them things. Fabinho just intercepting anything, anything that goes near him. It's like a spider, just gets onto everything. Adair Militao, come on. Oh, he's finally scored. That's a great finish. Poor from me, poor defending, not strong enough. I thought Adair Militao would just brush uh, Gabriel Jesus off, but that's a great finish. Into the bottom corner, nothing really I can do about that one. Can't really complain too much. He does deserve to be probably leading. Come on, Militao. Pookie's in again. How quick is this guy? What a tackle, Militao. Oh my god, what is going on? Game. Oh my god, why is it passed to the wrong player? I can't blame the team. 
it's just the game. I don't understand why it's passed it directly to him. I obviously wouldn't ask for that pass. I'm going to have a look at the end, see if we did, but I don't believe that I did 2-2. And looks like we are going to um, mess up this lead. Not doing this team great for the highlights, but this is the ups and downs of FIFA 20. One of you. There we go, Martial. Martial. Or is it Rashford? Doesn't matter. What a goal. Lovely, lovely play. Them two, a bit of a dynamic duo. Running off each other, making the one-twos. And when you've got the pacing behind, even if you've got quick centre-backs like Joe Gomez, Rashford is going to burn them. I thought if it's Marcus Rashford, I didn't fancy him on his left foot. But he, he proved me wrong. Maybe we should trust it a bit more. Well played, Fabinho. That's what we needed. Fabinho, that's a clutch tackle there. Really, really dangerous. And go on, Sterling. Let's go. Come on, Sterling. Up against Dinier. He's not the quickest. Come on, Sterling. Come on. Spin. No, he did it so late. Finish. Oh, what a block. Oh, my God. What a block. That was really nice from Sterling. He took so long to do it. You can see he leaves Dinier behind. The finish just was... It was okay, but his play got in front of it. Let's go. Let's go from a corner, please. No. There we go. Militao. You're not... You're not getting past him, especially with a player like Pookie, who's not the quickest. That's maybe one of the things, if we did go for a player like him, Marcus Rashford's through here. Yeah, if we did go for a player like Pookie, he's not the quickest. Does he really fit the meta, Martial? No. Yes, Fabinho, that's what we needed. 92 minutes, I shouldn't have been messing around, but we win 3-2. That was a stressful game, and I think it probably highlights what this team brings. It brings a very strong midfield, very, very good attack. Great goalkeeper, but... The vulnerability comes from me. I am not the best at defending. I gave him the ball back a few times where I shouldn't have. We had a lot of chances. And I think the formation really does suit me at the moment. Getting goals from my attackers. The Probably the one player that does let me down is Jesse Lingard. I would like to bring a replacement in. Maybe in for Madison. Depends how much he is. If he's like 100k, I probably won't get him. If he's 50, I will definitely pick him up. But we have Division Rivals rewards tomorrow. Division Rivals rewards will be very, very important to... The whole road to glory, if you are playing um, division rivals, you're putting yourself in a great position to get great rewards. I think this week we're going to take the tradable rewards because there are so many players that are worth a lot of coins. I'm very focused on which team I want to use. It is this team, a Premier League team with a few of the overpowered players in. I don't know if I'd get a play. Say we got um, an amazing Serie A player like we had or an amazing La Liga player. Like a Luka Modric. I don't want to build this whole team around a Luka Modric for the rest of the year. I want to have the coins, the liquidity in the club so that I can say, right, this is the meta. I can switch to that. Or, okay, there's a new inform out. I want to pick him up rather than having a load of untradables in the club. Past FIFAs, I've made that mistake so, so many times. And I think with this squad, it will hold its value for a long time. And when it does drop, I think the market relatively will drop. So that is probably my... Final words on the team. As for the season pass, I've been doing a few of the things, just as I say, trying to do it naturally. We're 1,300 away from a gold players pack. Not sure how long this will take us to actually build up to the top so we get a mega pack. There are, and the Wilfred Zaha, that would be really, really cool. 91,000 XP needed, 85 rated. He would fit the team really, really nicely, a Wilfred Zaha. But I think this is going to be the end of today's episode. You can see the record is improving, 30 wins, 22 losses. We've taken quite a few L's in the draft, probably about seven in there, quite a few in division rivals. I think there are really, really is a big skill gap this year. I'm struggling, but defending, I'm getting better at. The squad formation is really helping, and switching to the meta players is so, so important. I really do love this team, and if you do want to try it out, I'll definitely recommend pretty much all of the players. We've got Hugo Lloris in the squad now. We've got Aurier, who's still there. I think Aurier will increase in value. I think he's only around 30k. So a guy of his ability and the links he offers, I think he will not only uh, be really good if we decide to play him, but will appreciate in value. And there's that James Madison. Let's hope we can get the inform. Let's hope we can pack him maybe tomorrow in the division rivals. I'll be early uploading tomorrow. Probably get that upload around half nine, nine in the morning. Be a nice early upload and I think we will have a normal Road to Glory episode as well tomorrow as well as other videos. So if you did enjoy, please do drop a like on this video. It'd be massively appreciated. Comment if you have any tips for the Road to Glory, any tips for the team, anything like that. If you have any questions about any players, hopefully I can answer them. And subscribe for much more FIFA 20 content. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you did make it to the end, I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. See you later.